Welcome back to EC Live. Guess what? It's snowing inside for a change. Chase, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, I can introduce you to I'll, I'll let you guys introduce yourself. Tell them who you are. Going. My name is Addis Snow. I'm Prince. Now, first of all, tell me how you boys met up. Really? We met up in a fight. In a fight. Yeah, I was I was fighting somebody, beating somebody up. <laughs> and I met him and I was doing that reggae stuff and he was like, oh, you could do that reggae stuff good. And I said, yeah. So he's like, oh, let's go down to New York City and hook up with MC Chan and all of them. And then I hooked up with Chan from him. This is my mixer. I hooked up with him and then I went with, uh, who? Who did I go with? Steve? Yeah, I went with Steve, my, my, my manager. Steve and Chan, David. And David Ng. From Mo Jam, and then I uh, hooked it up. From there. And here you are. Now, how did you first of all develop a real interest in the whole dancehall style? I've been into it since I was like 13, 12 years old. In my area, I live in a place called Allenbury. I lived there, and I used to like listen to tapes, and I hear all that, you know, that rasta sound, and I'm like, yo, that shit is nice. So, and I started singing along, and like, diddly 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 and there's a buggy when people just sort of give a one-shot perspective on you and just bring up the problems you've had in your life. I mean, do you want to not talk about that and get on to other stuff? Or, I mean, right now, let's face it, with the, with the whole Malcolm X thing, there's a, a real renewed message out there that, you know, doing time equals salvation and you can learn something. What does that all mean to you? How do you feel about it? Well, I've been in, you know, I've been in jail a lot. And, you know, I'm on a path now from jail. And it's not something that, you know, you're proud of, but I've been through it, but now I've got a record career and from New York and everything, so I've changed my life around. So I'm saying all the little kids, you know, and all the people, it's not cool to be in jail and all. Yeah, you're rough, because where you're going to end up, it's not the place you want to be, so. Inevitably, this kind of image is goes hand in hand with dancehall music, you know, like it or not. What, uh, what kind of perspective does that give you to have to pump the message out to other people? It ain't worth it to go to jail. Because it is. It, unfortunately, it's part of the whole sphere. It, it goes with the territory. Do you think you have to be X-rated and sort of a renegade to be in this business? No. Uh -uh. No. Nah. You don't got it. That's just, that's all people, you know, all the girls, oh, I like that guy because he's bad. That's a bunch of holes. Come on now. You don't need that. You know what I'm saying? Tell me about the project, the first uh, single here, The Informer. Informer is about a story. Me and my friend got jumped. They got stabbed. I got charged with two attempt murder. I did a year in jail. I didn't do the charge. I didn't stab the kid. So somebody ratted on me, so I'm like, he's an informer. I beat the charge, though, and now I wrote a song about him called The Informer. Okay, we're going to take a look at that right now. Why don't you take us into that with a little freestyle? I'll give you the mic to A lonely, lonely, lonely Monday morning. <laughs> and I didn't have no company. Again, you do all right. All right. And the police had him and come in and they blow down me door. When the cop brought you to my window, so they put me in the back of the car at the station. From that point, I'm a rich man, this and he's gonna wear the dress and busy is in a detention. I wear them. Look at me, bad summer. So what did I do? Now what did I do? I'm a child. Give me your human out, human out, human out. Fast talk and check it out, check it out. Well, you keep Google phone you ain't got you keep Google phone you let's give your Google too much you ain't got Google too then. If you're not do it twice, if you're not work up a sweat. Personally, so my men don't know why I do it. But me still laugh for why and see y'all not that. I can move up my hip, me fi go fish to lie. Yeah, it's not a person, not a talker. Get your own show, will ya? This is the informer show, honestly. 